one of the hottest segments in Canada at the moment is the compact crossover on this edition of Test Drive, the Mazda CX-3. With the popularity of the compact crossover growing, the timing of the CX-3 is right on the money. It's an attractive ride that brings flexibility in an urban-friendly package. As with the rest of Mazda's lineup, the CX-3 does not have to take a back seat to any of its peers. From the look to the handling, it has an impishness to its personality that's very difficult to ignore. The cabin of this CX-3 is rather nice, although some of the plastics do speak to its entry-level pricing. If you go with the GT and the tech package, however, this thing comes loaded. Everything from blind spot monitoring right the way through to a good infotainment system with navigation. Now, there is a nit to pick. When you're stationary, this screen is actually touch sensitive. The instant the car starts moving, it no longer is, so you've got to use these controllers down here. Why not give me the choice? The CX-3 is powered by a 2.0-litre four-cylinder that twists out 146 horsepower and 146 pound-feet of torque at a low 2800 RPM. This gives it a lively turn of speed. As with the MX-5, the CX-3 has just the right amount of power, enough to be entertaining without overwhelming the chassis. The engine drives all four wheels through a six-speed automatic that comes with paddle shifters on the GT. The combination brings a run to the metric ton of nine seconds and a passing move of 6.9 seconds. Both times are faster than its key competitors. Mazda's iActive all-wheel drive system looks at everything from the gas, steering and brakes right the way through to ambient temperature and whether or not the wipers are on or off. Using this information, it checks everything 200 times a second, which gives it a predictive ability. That means it's always doing the right thing at the right time. In the end, it also means that the driver is unaware of its action, which is always a good thing. The CX-3 has a sport mode. The hitch is that when in sport, the gears are held way too long when driving in an urban environment. It needs a setting between normal and sport. Regardless, the one thing that came through loud and clear is that CX-3 does not like gas stations. A test average of 7.9 litres per 100 kilometres was much better than I expected given the gusto of the test and the fact it does drive all four wheels. Whilst this sloping roof line and the angle of the tailgate do eat into the utility somewhat, this car has still got plenty of interior space given its compact dimensions. Pop the tailgate, right there you've got 452 litres with the seats upright and 1,484 when you fold them flat. When it comes to handling, the CX-3 is light and tight. While the suspension is fairly basic, as in front struts and a rear twist beam, it manages to control body roll remarkably well. The run through the pylon saw it hold my line with a rare tenacity for a crossover. Throw in the GT's oversized 215-50R18 tires and understeer is far enough out, it's a moot point. The manner in which it charges through a corner is enough to leave a big smile on the driver's face. In the end, I loved the balance it displayed throughout the test. One thing that came through loud and clear from the test drive was the fact that this CX-3 has got two different personalities. On the one hand, it's easy to tell it's got a lot of the genes from the Mazda MX-5, or the Miata as I like to call it. On the other, it brings more than its fair share of utility in spite of that roof line. In the end, the combination makes it a very viable candidate for a growing family.